There once was an elephant who lived on a farm. Lived on a farm? But how could that be? As far from a farm, he was born, you see. How did he get there? Nobody knows. But one thing's for sure, he has very big toes. Big ears, a short tail, and a trunk for a nose. He lived in the hay bales, all on his own, lonely and sad and feeling alone. But what elephant didn't know was that from way up on high, Mrs. Owl had him under her watchful eye. Mrs. Owl watched elephant eat. She watched him sleep. She watched him thrash about in the wheat. One day Mrs. Owl flew down low to say hello to Elephant who she didn't know. I am Olive the Owl. Who, who, who are you? Have you come here from the zoo? But Elephant was shy and he turned away because he didn't know what to say. Don't worry, I'll come back another day, Mrs. Owl said as she flew away. The next day, Mrs. Owl flew down to the hay and said to Elephant, let's go and play. Out in the farmyard where you will see lots of animals just like me. Elephant was scared. Mrs. Owl said, don't fret. I'll tell them all that you're my cousin from Tibet. What will I call you on the farm? I can't call you Elephant from the barn. My name is Edward and I come from the zoo. It's very, very nice to meet you. Out on the farm, there is so much to see. A donkey, a honeybee, and a big oak tree. A cow and a duck and a pig in the muck, a horse and a bull, and a sheep covered in wool, two tractors, a trailer, and a big yellow baler. Edward was puzzled, a little bamboozled. He looked at the farm animals from afar and he thought, hmm, oh my, don't they look bizarre? Hmm, is, is that a gazelle? He looks a little funny. Mrs. Owl said, don't be silly, that's our goat. Billy. Is that a giraffe? He's got 
such a long neck. I'm curious now. I want to go and check. That's not a giraffe. That's Larry, the llama. There's no need to worry. He doesn't like drama. What's wrong with that zebra? Her stripes, they're all funny. Like paint that's gone runny. That's not a zebra. That's Daisy, the cow. She likes to lie down for a nap beside the plough. Suddenly, a big commotion. <gasps> Has there been an explosion? Oh no, that's fire. <gasps> this could be dire. The flames are getting higher and higher and higher. Help, shouted Olive. Edward, come quick. But what? can I do? I come from the zoo. Use your nose. Shoot water out like a fireman's hose. Quenched the fire, saved the day. All of the Farm animals cheered, hooray! But now, what for Edward? What would he do? Would he have to leave and go back to the zoo? A donkey, a honeybee, a big oak tree, a horse and a bull and a sheep covered in wool, two tractors, a trailer and a big yellow baler, a cow and a duck and a pig in muck. <gasps> Billy the goat Larry the llama, Daisy the cow. My name is Edward. I ran from the zoo. May I stay here with you? Edward felt safe on the farm. He knew that he could help to keep the animals free from harm. Back to the hay bales, but not on his own. But where was Olive? Where had she flown? <gasps> there she is, up on high with her new friend, Edward, under her watchful eye. The end.